Welcome to Mastering Solutions. This is another motion on a ramp problem. In this question, a piano has been pushed to the top of the ramp at the back of a moving van. The workers think that it's safe, but as they walk away, it begins to roll down the ramp. So somebody's about to have a really bad day. If the back of the truck is one meter above the ground and the ramp is inclined at 20 degrees, how much time do the workers have to get the piano before it reaches the bottom of the ramp? So I drew a picture of what's going on here. The piano is coming down this ramp. They tell us that this incline right there is 20 degrees and the height of how tall it is off the ground is one meter. You can see that we just have a right triangle again. So let's redraw that over here. Okay, so here is what we're working with. H we'll say is the hypotenuse for this ramp. And we need to figure out one, how long is the ramp? So to do that, we'll use trigonometry, of course. We have the opposite and the angle, so we'll use sine is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. We're looking for hypotenuse, so first let's move it over to the other side of the equation. So opposite is equal to h sine theta, and now we'll divide both sides of the equation by sine theta. So h for hypotenuse is equal to the opposite divided by sine of the angle theta. The opposite in this case is one meter, and we'll divide that by sine of 20 degrees. So one divided by sine 20 gives us a distance for the ramp of two meters. And that sounds about right. If we take basically three meters times at roughly three feet, that gives us about a nine to 10 foot ramp. So that sounds about typical for what you would expect for a moving trucks ramp. Now we need to figure out what is the acceleration as the ramp, as the piano. Now we need to figure out the acceleration as the piano is going down the ramp. To do that, we'll use the formula from the book for acceleration on an inclined plane. On the last few problems, we've talked about how to derive that equation, but in this problem, we're not going to worry about that and we're just going to use it. So acceleration is equal to g, and that's plus or minus g times the sine of the angle theta. In this case, if we were to make a tilted coordinate grid, we would be going in the positive x direction, so we'll use a positive g. So we have positive g times sine of the angle theta. So we have 9.8 meters per second squared times sine of 20 degrees will give us the acceleration for the piano as it's going down the ramp. We have 9.8 times sine of 20 gives us an acceleration of 3.4, 3.4 meters per second squared. So now we have these two components. Now we can plug them in to figure out how much time do the workers have before the piano gets to the bottom of the ramp here. We can use the kinematic equation of x final is equal to x initial plus velocity initial times time plus one half the acceleration times the time squared. And we can use any kinematic equation we want if it has time and we have all of the other variables in it. In this case, this is the one that I think is pretty easy to use. The x initial we'll say is zero because we'll say right where it started is the initial x, so that goes away. The initial velocity, it's starting from rest, and then it starts to roll down the ramp, so this is also zero. So what we're left with is x final is equal to one half at squared. We need to isolate t, so first let's multiply both sides of the equation by two, or in other words, two over one, the reciprocal of one half. So now we have two times the x final is equal to at squared. We'll divide both sides of the equation by a now. So we have t squared is equal to two times the acceleration final divided by a. And then of course, we'll take the square root of both sides. So t is equal to two times the x final divided by acceleration square root. Take the square root of two times our x, which we found was 2.9 meters. And then that'll be divided by the acceleration, which we found right here is 3.4 meters per second squared. So we have 1.3 seconds. So T is equal to 1.3 seconds before the piano reaches the bottom of the ramp. And if you think about it, 1.3 is almost no time. So these movers are basically screwed and the piano is gonna hit the bottom of the ramp and probably break. 